Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, um, I am going to do a reading on Lady Gaga and Christian Serino. Yeah, I, I think that's how it would be pronounced, or Carino. Um, I did one on her and Bradley Cooper. She just got engaged, so I thought that would be an interesting one to do. Okay, he's her talent agent or a talent agent. I don't know if he's hers or just a, just a general talent agent. Maybe he's also her agent of some sort. Okay, so um, right, like I hate to say this, but right away when I think of this Christian guy, I feel like this my guy kind of smells the money. Um, he does love Lady Gaga, but being with her benefits him. Um, They love each other. She does love him. But I feel they kind of, I don't know if they spent a lot of time together because he's a talent agent or an agent. Um, I think he's her agent. Hold on. Who is Christian K? Um, is Gaga's talent agent? I don't know what that means. Okay. Gaga is one of his clients as are a number of other celebrities. Okay, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know how much I trust this man. I feel that he does love her, but it's like um, her fame and her money and her, all of her things are just like icing on the cake. And so he knows who butters his bread. So um, I'm just going to shut my phone off here. That's what I get. I get a guy that kind of cozied up to her, um, started dating her. Um, she fell in love with him. He fell in love with her. I felt that this engagement was, was a little bit on the um, quick side. As usual, I don't know how long they dated, but I got this panic feeling from him. Like, I need to ask her to marry me before somebody comes along and takes her or before she realizes that she doesn't love me. There's a little bit of an insecurity here. I don't feel that he has any motives to marrying her. I do believe he loves her, but I see this as being more of a business between the two of them. For him, it's security. I feel the security that he feels getting hooked up with her and marrying her. So it's like, if he can marry this woman, his life is made. Um, I don't trust him though. To some degree, I don't trust him. I do believe he loves her. She loves him. I think she's somewhat settling. I feel that she is, is settling for this guy. Um, it's almost like she kind of knows. She kind of knows that what she has is somewhat enticing him. And that, I feel like that's kind of like a mean thing to say. Um, but it's she's okay by that. She's okay. She's got perhaps probably millions and millions of dollars. And she knows that any man that's going to come along, that probably will be... Um, A benefit to them. I'm sure he has his own money, probably not as much as her, but I, I don't know. I don't want to say gold digger because he does love her. Um, because gold diggers, I think, are just with, I just, you know, with this guy, I kind of felt like he put himself in the right place um, to be able to get to know her and, you know, have her fall in love with him, you know. So I do feel that they love each other, but I just kind of get that he's, he was a little sly about it. And it's like I said before, you know, he knows who butters his bread and that's her. Um, and I, I feel he is his own man. There's just something about this I don't like. There's something about him that I don't trust. So, um, I don't know if it's like, I don't, I don't feel like there's under any underlying motives. Um, 
I just feel I just feel he he just feels like if he marries her, um, he will be set. He will be okay. All right. Um, I feel she's okay with that too. You know, I feel like there's he, her. She's um, an Aries. His birthday does not come up on the internet, so I don't know what his birth date is. Um, but I kind of feel like he can be a little bit of a baby, <laughs> too. So, um, and for all of you people out there, just so you know, when I'm concentrating and trying to people pick up people's vibes, I will look away from the screen and I, I tend to look up this way. I don't know why. And I get people commenting saying, why do you, why do you have to move your eyes like that? You know what? If you don't like it, don't watch. Get out of my life. You know, it kind of pisses me off. You know, at least I'm not like freaking going into some stupid trance or something like that. But for me to pick up an energy and feel somebody, I just kind of have to look away and then I look at the camera. All right? So don't piss me off by leaving comments like that. Just don't watch me then, for God's sake, you know? Um, so I'm a little bit worried for her. Just a little bit. Um, it's kind of like... He knew who she was. I go. I keep going back to this. He knew who she was and put himself in the right place. In, in um, It's like he knew, he knew how to kind of um, line him up, himself up with her. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain a feeling. So... Um, I get that they do love each other. I just don't know. Like in, It's like sometimes when you see these movies of these people um, when they get together and the girl or the boy gets together with them because they're popular or to somehow undermine them and then eventually end up falling in love and then the girl or the guy finds out that they had ulterior motives and then the guy says, but I love you. I, I end up, I, I love you now. This is the feeling that I get. He kind of had ulterior motives and then ended up surprisingly falling in love with her and now loves her. That That's that's like the vibe I got. So I'm just going to go off this site because it's dark. Okay. So, so that's the vibe that I got, that I get from them. Let's just see what the cards say. I feel like I repeated myself like through the whole thing here. So... Sorry about that. Where's my cards? Okay. All right. What does Christian feel for Lady Gaga? What does Christian feel for Lady Gaga? What does Christian feel for Lady Gaga? And for those of you that are new to my channel, what I do is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. I don't, um, and then I, if there's more than one card that falls out, I put it back in the deck. All right. What does Christian feel for Lady Gaga? Okay. So here's the star. All right. So the star is about um, renewal. It's hope. It's inner clarity. It's about miracles. So, um, so... Let me just see what the book says. I'll get the full meaning. That's number 17. 17. All right. So the star asks you to keep the faith because opportunities and rewards will come. You follow a new direction in work, projects, or relationships. Spiritually, the card reveals guidance. You discover your life purpose. For some, this is the ability to heal others and yourself. Um, you may have come through a period of transition and now sense the unfolding of new. Um, it's creative possibilities. Relationships are harmonious. And if you're looking for love, you are now ready to be with your soulmate. All right. So he's ready to be with her. Um, there was a transition that they did go through. I feel that was a transition. Like he, he never thought he would fall in love with her and he did fall in love with her. All right. So this top card says he kept the faith because opportunities and rewards will come. Opportunities. Okay, and rewards. 
um, and you follow a new direction in your work projects or relationships. Okay, new direction. They got engaged and going to get married. There is the Three of Cups, and this is about friendship, celebration, circle of support. He loves it. He loves the celebrations, maybe the, you know, uh, parties they go to. I don't know if they do much partying. It's about um, friendships, support, you know, all the people. And then we have the Seven of Spears, and this is someone persist persisting forward. The Seven of Spears is about um, pushing forward, okay? Um, Seven of Spears talk us about uh, protecting himself against competition. It's self-defense. Seven of Spears is... Spears. Where is the Spears? Seven of Spears is challenges, negotiations, advocacy, antipas anticipation. Endurance and opposition are the meaning of this seven. The card suggests you hold your ground through tough negotiations as you fight off comp competitors, defend your ideas, or push back one too many demands. All right, so for example, you look at the movie that she was in, A Star is Born. Maybe he, he thought Bradley Cooper was going to be all of a sudden um, a competition for him. So there could have been an urgency here to, um, uh, what's the word, um, propose to her, okay? All right. What messages are there regarding Christian and Lady Gaga? Christian and Lady Gaga. Christian and Lady Gaga. What can we expect the next three months? Christian and Lady Gaga. Christian and Lady Gaga. Stephanie, I think, is her name. I guess I could call her by Stephanie. Lady Gaga and Christian. Well, we have the Nine of Cups. All right. So the Nine of Cups talks about um, wishes coming true. All right. So... They could fulfill each other. The Nine of Cups, um, that card talks about wishes coming true, material abundance, good health. Then we have the Tower, and that's a major change. This is sometimes um, unwanted change, but this card also can talk about, um, uh, uh, like, it's like a marriage, a death, a birth, a divorce, moving, um, you know, major events in somebody's life. And then we have the Three of Swords. So it could be that right now their wishes have come true. Their wishes are fulfilled. This, typically this card talks about unwanted change. It's ruin, disgrace, upheaval. And then the Three of Swords is about um, heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery. Let's see if they're going to get married. What are the messages for Lady, Lady Gaga's marriage? What are the messages regarding Lady Gaga's marriage to Christian? Lady Gaga's marriage to Christian. Lady Gaga's marriage to Christian. Lady Gaga's marriage to Christian. Marriage to Christian. Let's see if any marriages cards come up. Lady Gaga's marriage to Christian. All right, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, let's see what that card says. All right, so the Page of Swords talks about a person. As a person, the page is a young individual, male or female, who is witty, clever, and contrary. Applied to a situation, he repre represents vigilance. You may have contracts and documents to arrange or sign for property, travel, finances, or other agreements. So the message is to pay attention to detail and listen carefully to advice from trusted sources. This could be a marriage contract. All right? Maybe um, uh, uh, prenup. 
Okay. All right. There's the tower again. Look at how many cards we have here. And it's come up again. All right. So this is about that unwanted change. And then we have temperance. Okay. Something's going to happen. All right, something's going to happen here. Let's get the full meaning of this card. 16. A shocking event, sudden change, and chaos are the traditional tower meaning, but you are not responsible. The upside is that you are released from old ways of being or living and awakened to what is now possible. There's an opportunity to learn from the past and create stronger foundations for the future. Additional meaning is a relationship secret and intense attraction. So there could be a third party. Relationship secret, intense attraction, and then we have the temperance card. And this is about self-control. It's moderation. I don't know about the marriage. Okay? I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if they have a date set. I don't know. Um, I just kind of, I don't trust him. I get, a, I get a feeling of not trusting this man. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, okay. If anybody would like a private reading, please email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. And a little bit about myself. I am uh, what's called a clairsentient, um, which means that I feel what other people feel. All right, so... What this reading that I just did here, I picked up his energies and her energies. All right. So anyway, thank thank you everybody for um, watching my videos, for commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. I truly appreciate it, and you guys all mean the world to me. So sorry about my little rant, but um, you know what? It it's a little bit it it hurts my feelings a little bit, and I I should be tougher, I guess. When people say things like that, it makes me not want to do these videos. Because, um, I don't know, I guess I'm trying to do this out of the kindness of my heart and to make you guys happy. And you know what? Like, it's kind of like the Donald Trump thing. If you have something to say, don't don't attack me personally. You know, um, maybe say something else. I don't know. Just don't say anything at all. So sorry about that for the people that really do like to watch and support me and love me. So thanks again. Okay, bye-bye.